Hi, good evening. Welcome to Call Us Now. My name is Bill. I'll be hosting this program. We're coming to you live tonight, December 21st, 1991. And gosh, gang, we haven't been on for, uh, for quite a while, at least, uh, at least a year. And uh, we are actually coming live tonight. I know you've been seeing a lot of reruns on and, uh, and uh, probably have not called in for those reruns, but we're actually live tonight. So please, uh, the viewing audience, we're asking you to call in at 522-3564. And uh, tell us uh, about your feelings about Christmas. We're going to be talking about Christmas tonight. And uh, call in and, and let us know what, what you think is the true meaning of Christmas. And uh, maybe tell us a little bit about uh, shopping experiences or, uh, uh, or just things you like or don't like about Christmas. And uh, you'll be seeing that phone number come up on the screen throughout the show. So please give us a call and talk to us live here on Call Us Now. Let me now introduce our panel for tonight's uh, discussion on Christmas. Uh, first of all, I've got uh, Glenda Fawn, and uh, she, she owns a uh, little shop here in town. And uh, Glenda, tell us a little bit about what the shop is. Uh, I am, I'm Glenda Fawn, and I have uh, Glenda's Gifts. I am a gift consultant, and so what I do is I tell people what, I, I offer suggestions to people who are wondering what to, to give someone. You want a gift for your mother, or you want a gift for your father, or you want a gift for your, your brother, or you want to get for your teacher, or, and I, I would tell you, I would suggest to you, within your economic limitations, what you could give them, what creative gift, you know, that says "I love you" or "Merry Christmas" or "Happy Birthday" or, mm -hmm. what, or about what like have a, you. Like a brother-in-law, do that one, brother-in-law, or yeah, yeah. Or what about uh, what about a sister-in-law then? Yeah, yeah, sure. I could I could think of something for that. What for about that a pet? What about a pet, like a dog or a cat? I could do a pet. You could, okay. So you pretty much cover cover anything. Yeah. I mean, if people want a gift for whoever, right, or whatever, yes. you can get it. Yeah. And that's and the name of it's Glenda's what Glenda's gifts. gifts. Glenda's gifts. <laughs> Thanks, Glenda. Uh, next to Glenda is Gary Tracy, who's a tele tele evangelist on uh, CBN. If you have cable, I'm sure you've seen him on his own show. Uh, Gary Tracy is with us. Uh, thank you, Bill. Yes, I am Gary Tracy, the only person on the face of the earth to correctly interpret the true meaning of the Bible. It's real exciting to be back here tonight, Bill, and my purpose of being here tonight is to remind people that Christmas is not just a time of giving gifts and, and seeing Santa Claus and that television specials and things like that, except for my own, of course, but it is a time to celebrate the birth of Jesus. And what I would like to do tonight is I am going to help you with any questions you might have about Christmas. I can look into the Bible and answer all your questions. In fact, I can do the same thing that Glenda does and perhaps a little bit better. I can look into the Bible and tell you exactly what kind of gift that you should get this Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I'm really, I am looking forward to the uh, God Through Gary Christmas special on mm -hmm. Christmas Eve. I watch it every every year. That's right. And uh, what, who do you have for uh, special guests this year? Can you tell us? Uh, uh, well, I have Glenn Campbell is going to be on again. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the uh, Texas High School cheerleader is going to be on. I think you all remember that little incident uh, a year or so ago when uh, mom was trying to get somebody murdered. Well, I've got the kids on. They've, uh, mom is going to be on too. She's repented for that. Uh, so they're going to be sharing some of their cheers and yells for God with us on the show. So it's going to be uh, Glenn Campbell and the cheerleaders. Great. Last year you had the judge. That's right. I had the judge, well, but right. as the judge as we know, uh, they aren't doing real well. Mom's about ready to drop dead, so uh, yeah. couldn't couldn't get them on. They're busy. Okay. Uh, down at the end, we have Carolyn DeCow, and uh, she is uh, she works down at uh, Pay and Save. Is that correct? I um, used to work there, Bill. Yeah. I now I work at a Sears outlet store because I couldn't I couldn't hack the discount department stores anymore. So that I'm working at Sears Outlet, and I don't, I do not like Christmas, and I do not care for the people uh, during the shopping uh, frenzy. I don't, I don't like it. It's a stressful, stressful time of year. I've never liked it since my. Oh, well, I liked it when my children were little, and um, since their father died, I've been. It's just been such a struggle to get. Um, you know, to, to, to get them the gifts that they want that no. I don't like it anymore. I, I could make not. some suggestions for you. I don't want them. Uh, Bill, I'd just like to yeah. say that there is no stress in a Christian's life this time of year. It's nothing but joy. Well, that must be handy. 
Uh, Carolyn, I, my floor director has just uh, informed me that it, I'm, I've, I'm terribly sorry. It's uh, it's Dachau. It's pronounced not Dachau. But that's all right. Everybody does that. But I don't like it, but they do it. Okay. Let's uh, go to a viewer out there and uh, see what they have to say. Hi, thanks for calling. Call us now. Hello. Hi. Uh, how, how's, uh, what, what's your feelings about Christmas? Well, I'd just like to talk about the importance of the separation of church and state. I don't think yeah. they should have Christmas trees in school. And what it's like to be a Jew and be at school. And that would go for anyone else that had a different religion other than uh, Christianity or being Catholic. Mm -hmm. Are you yourself Jewish? Uh, yeah. And uh, having a Christmas tree at school then bothers you? Uh, it bothered me quite a bit in my younger years when I was in elementary school, being at Christmas and feeling left out uh, that everyone else was celebrating something that I didn't identify with. Yeah, being lar largely ignored. The Jewish children are largely ignored in uh, elementary schools. In the... I don't ever recall once in my uh, childhood at school of, of having uh, a person of the Jewish persuasion come up and wish me a happy Hanukkah and maybe give me a little Hanukkah gift. So, a dreidel or something? Yeah, a dreidel. Um, Which is an excellent gift for a Jewish friend. I just we sell at the Sears outlet, we sell plastic mm -hmm. menorahs that light up and twirl. Hmm. Carpenters like those dreidels. Now, if if uh, if I had a Jewish friend, and I, I do, I mean, I, I do have Jewish friends, and I wanted to buy a gift for them. Mm -hmm. uh, for is it appropriate f to give uh, a Jewish friend a Christmas gift? Could I absolutely? Come to because them? what you're saying is, um, here is a gift from my heart, which is full of joy during this season. Mm -hmm. And I don't, and I think you know, I think a, a Christian would love to get a gift from a Jewish person as well if they. If they felt so inclined to do that, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. On the God Through Gary show, we encourage uh, Jews to send money in. We we appreciate it as much as from Christians. Let me let me kind of get a feeling from each of you uh, what Christmas means to you. What what it means. I mean, it's you know to me it's like that kind of warm, liquidy, oozy, good feeling. Just that. Mm, good feeling that you get, uh, especially Christmas morning when you wake up and all the presents are under the tree and all the decorations and lights and you just feel good giving each other gifts and all that and and that's to me that's Christmas and I, I'm just kind of curious what what Christmas means to you what's the, the real feeling? Of well to me it's and I think it's difficult to describe but for me uh, this year it's family, uh, it's friends and it's it's strangers. I think for me, uh, the true spirit of Christmas, uh, those of you that watch the God Through Gary show know that you always have a Bible in your hand when you are watching me, so go ahead and grab that Bible. But I think Christmas for Gary Tracy uh, can best be summed up in Ezekiel 20, verse 2. Then came the word of the Lord unto me, saying, Son of man, speak unto the elders of Israel, and say unto them. There's that Jewish thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Thus saith the Lord God, are ye come to inquire of me? As I live, saith the Lord God, I will not be inquired of by you. I like it when people drop in on the holidays. They come over and they knock on the door and say, how are you? And, and bring a little gift. And I, I love that. That's what I like about the holidays is the way even the Jews drop in and visit me. I think they were talking about sheep there. Uh, you, like a, you. Occasionally so some okay. sheep have been dropped off and, and we slaughter them and eat them. Hmm. Ouch. And uh, uh, Carolyn, what, what's Christmas to you? Well, Bill, it's not liquid like you were saying and it's not gooey. Uh, usually it involves all my children coming over and bringing their children and um, I make a large meal that I have to clean up afterwards. And um, I usually get a nightgown from my children. And um, I, I don't like it. Oh, it's yeah. not the nightgown I don't like. I can always use them. I don't like the holiday. It's now, a lot uh, of work. Carolyn, I, how many children do you have? I mean, do you, do you have a you Well, have that's a funny of... you should say that. The one Christmas gift I got last year that I loved was from my children. They all went in on it. Um, it was this ring. Where is it? Can you see that? Where is it? See my ring? Where is it? <laughs> Where's the camera? <laughs> What, it's, yeah, the ring. Well, this is the this is my engagement ring that my ex late husband gave to me, 
and then this is the rings. This is my mother's ring. They added that mm -hmm. on there. This is for Joey, and that's for Brenda, which is coincidence since your name is Glenda. Mm. This is for Jimmy, and this is for Rhonda. Now, there's five stones there. Well, this one, I had a miscarriage in my 30s, so that's that one. Hmm. Let's go back to our uh, viewing audience and uh, see if we have any comments, feelings about Christmas. Hi. Hello. You're on Call Us Now. Is there anybody there? Someone that's a little phone shy, apparently. Um, let me let me talk a little bit about uh, the whole giving thing of, of Christmas. Uh, uh, do I guess I'm after what what people are have asked for for Christmas? What maybe you're expecting for for Christmas? Personally? Yeah, just personally. Just I you know I, for me it's what? just important to receive a gift that has that somebody has put thought into. The money that doesn't matter. Expense it doesn't matter, or whether it's something that. Uh, came off of a list that I gave or posted somewhere. What's important is that there's a lot of thought behind it and that they really thought, you know, Glenda, you know, mm -hmm. that they were looking around Glenda, you know, this Glenda and they and they were thinking of me when they when they bought it or made it. And by the way, I wanted I want to stress that um, you don't have to spend money to say I love you or to say I, Merry Christmas or or uh, howdy. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's uh, you can make a little gift. I mean, there are so many options, yeah. uh, really, in so many ways. That even at last minute, you know, very little money that you can express yourself at Christmas. Well, what if somebody wanted to give a gift to God and, and give it to me, and I'd make sure that God got it? What What do you think would be a good gift? So it would be a gift that both God and you would receive. Oh, well, of course, I wouldn't take any joy from it or use it. It would be just for God. But they would give it to me because I would give it to God. So what, what would be a, a good gift, do you think? I think a really good all-around gift that's for, like, you and God, there's obviously a... Sweatpants or... Different scissors, I think, are nice. Scissors. Huh. Scissors, you can uh, cut out coupons. You can uh, cut yeah. ribbons. And you can uh, you can keep them in your drawer. Yeah. I, I, I don't visualize God cutting out coupons. <gasps> no, but he can... Uh, he can he can cut out uh, sin evil. Very good, great, okay, good. Hey, I'm gonna try the phones here, and then I, I want to ask Gary a question here. Hi, do we have a caller on the line? Hello, do we have someone there? No, apparently not. We might be having some phone troubles, but Gary, I'm, I'm curious. Uh, uh, is there any way that uh, uh, that you could ask? God himself, um, what I might be getting for Christmas? Well, I think God has already addressed that. If you had your Bible with you, mm -hmm. you would open it to <clears throat> Samuel 26, verse 38 and 39. And it says, mm -hmm. And it came to pass about ten days after that the Lord smote Nabal that he died. And when David heard that Nabal was dead, he said, Blessed be the Lord that hath pleaded the cause of my reproach from the hand of Nabal and hath kept his servant from evil. You have a very, very dirty house. I've been there. It's filthy. You need a servant at your house. And the fact that, that every servant that has ever worked there, I think there's been three that have been mysteriously murdered, uh, I think it's time. Wait ten days. Get another one, and it'll it'll work out for With you. With a card and a little bow, and it's a great gift. Mm -hmm. What does smote mean? Exactly? Uh, it means like smack, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smote smack. <clears throat> now, Carolyn, what uh, what was on your uh, wish list this year? Did you have uh, uh, any requests? Just some slippers and uh, the beef stick. Beef one, of the, one of those Hickory beef Farms. Stick. Like a stick. gift package? Yeah. Those are really a nice gift from Hickory mm -hmm. Farms. A whole and package you of little goodies. And you can mm -hmm. cut it, you can open it and cut it up, but um, it never goes bad. Hmm. It's kind of a coincidence because uh, people that send over $100 to the God Through Gary show get actually a slice of beef stick that I've prayed over. Really? Mm -hmm. Or you can make your own. Yeah, we, uh, let's go back to our viewers again and see if uh, we've got our, our phone working here. I don't know, we might uh, have some kind of problem. Hi, is anyone on the line? Hello. Hello. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, okay, thanks, bye. Okay, uh, I'd Who also like that, to... Bill? It was the wrong number. So, what I'm curious too about is uh, what are some interesting places uh, to go shopping? I mean, maybe, maybe you could really give us some insight. If, if someone, I mean, obviously you're uh, uh, 
your your consultation firm would be a good place to, to go th through. Okay. But if you want to, you know, you can't do that for everything, maybe. Where, where could you go? Yeah, the oh, Sears Kelly. Outlet Christmas Basement. <laughs> There's a... They have an actual basement for Christmas. Which is... And, uh, which is an amazing um, find, I have to say. Now, I have not been there myself, but I have heard about the but Christmas But you've heard about it. Mm -hmm. And they have all sorts of Christmas supplies and Christmas gifts and anything Christmassy would be in they the They have those, there. they're darling um, dolls with that hold a candle and they sort of twirl this way, like this. Some of them play music and they usually are wearing something like a velvet cloak. Hmm. I, my favorite place is uh, now in Seattle. Actually, I like to, you can travel to different neighborhoods and thrift stores and so on and so forth, but you can go to a grocery store and you can pick up wonderful mm -hmm. little gifts. I, uh, I know someone on uh, my shopping list who loves persimmons. Hmm. And persimmons. Persimmons. Or oh, that's a, that guy I that does the exercise. The videotape of the guy that does it's exercises a for... It's a fruit bill. Oh. Same, same I person. I don't like persimmons. I had a jam made out of them once that someone gave me, and I don't like them. Mm -hmm. I don't like jam. You know, at our uh, headquarters over in Kirkland, we have a little uh, gift shop there, and it's just mm -hmm. full of, of, like you can get a framed photograph of Gary Tracy, and it says Merry Christmas on the top. On the bottom it says Happy Birthday, Jesus. You can get that. Uh, you can get versions, uh, the, the authorized version, the Gary Tracy authorized version of the Bible. We have those for $250 each, but I, I have autographed and prayed over them. It's, it's just tons and tons of stuff in there. And I would like to express again uh, the, the, the Jewish man who had called earlier and said, you know, he felt ignored and I think that's right. But you know, I think also this can be a very non-denominational or not even just that, but um, it doesn't have to be a religious holiday. I think it's a holiday that everyone can share just to be with people that they know or that they don't know and, and feel loving toward and feel giving toward and give a little gift. Give Glenda, a little that, that's, I, I have to disagree with you. That's why I'm here is to tell these people that the reason for Christmas is the birth of Christ. It's, it's not sometime just to, to go have a few drinks with your friends and, and take your staff from work out for lunch. It's, yeah. it's, if you want to take your staff out to, to celebrate the, the birth of Jesus, then that's, that would be fine. But this whole gift Santa Claus thing is, is, but is it's, not but, good. But my point is, and of course, that you are going to believe that um, it's a celebration of Christ's birthday. Yeah. Um, but I can say that if someone is not of that religious persuasion, then they're they wrong. can choose, okay, then these wrong people mm -hmm. can choose to give gifts just out of love. So, so the, the uh, sinners can give gifts because they just like somebody, but a, a true Christian would give Absolutely. a gift because they love Jesus. Okay. Absolutely. And, you, and all kinds of gifts. Hmm. What, all what, kinds. Uh, what flavor frango would you give a sinner? Mint. Mint? Absolutely hmm. mint. Hmm. You know, there's the Bible. They don't have any more frangos. Hmm. You know, the Bible, the, the Bible talks about what kind of gifts <laughs> God likes best. And if we look in St. Matthew 18, verse 2, And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. So everyone needs to have little children in their life. There are a lot of starving children out there who have no parents. You can go, uh, you, you can come through the God Through Gary show, through our gift shop, and purchase children that, that actually there's no ownership to them. There's no parents there on the street. We sell those children. They're a wonderful gift to give to somebody to put into their life to bring God into yeah. their life. And that brings up the subject of stocking stuffers too, yeah. I mean, which is a children? different type, Little different children. type of gift altogether. The unexpected. That's what I say about Christmas. Expect the unexpected. Hmm. I got some of those little children from you at one time, and mm -hmm. they were—they're were great to have around. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did go through some counseling, and I don't have them anymore. But they were—they were great to have around while it lasted. We're gonna try the phones again here, see if uh, we got things straightened out. Let's see if we have a caller on the line. Hi. Hi. Who's this? What's your name? Do you uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about uh, what Christmas means to you? I don't like it either. How, how come you don't like it? I mean... Well, I just... Just don't like it. Because they ran out of Frangos. They're, they don't have any more at the Frederick and Martin stores or whatever. I'm pretty mad about that. Yeah. Is there anything else that just makes you mad about, about Christmas besides that old Frango thing? Um... 
get nightgowns too. You do get nightgowns. Yeah, that that seems to be a popular gift. I mean, is that is that yeah. something that you do like? Yeah. Apparently so. Well, thank you for calling. You should be <laughs> careful about the flammability of your nightgown because some of them will go up in flames. Which is it brings up another point. Give give safely. Give safely. It's very important that you give safe gifts. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go yeah. Back to our phones. Hi. Hello. I'd like to say I'm rather confused by the whole concept of Christmas. And, well, first of all, I'd like to respond to the statement about frangos. I think that sinners much prefer plain chocolate. Mm. But I'm quite confused, and I think that the whole idea of Santa Claus, I feel that he is the Antichrist. And I like to say that the man sitting in the middle, he's a wonderful person. How can I send him some money? Well, I'm very glad to hear that. And I can respond to both the things you said. If you watch at the end of the show or in the credits, there'll be an address to send me money. Uh, so just write that down, have a pencil. But the, I have to disagree with you on the, the Antichrist because I have, Santa is not the Antichrist. I have an actual picture in the Gary Tracy Bible. <laughs> if you look very closely here, that is the Antichrist. You can see right underneath it, it says Antichrist. That is the Antichrist right there. Oh, so it doesn't look, look a bit a like Santa Claus. Yeah. It looks like Baal. Huh. Well, yeah. No, it doesn't at all. I, yeah. Look, yeah. That, the Antichrist look obviously has a, a goatee, a <laughs> beard. Hmm. He's got little horns. And his one eyebrow is higher than the other. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. So. Hmm. so I appreciate that from the caller and, and uh, the gift, just send it to that address, but uh, no, Santa isn't the Antichrist. He's just a silly old fool. And obviously, uh, this person uh, is not a professional as far as uh, what kind of gifts to give. I mean, I certainly would not take this person's advice over yours. No, and so. maybe I, I, don't, I, I would, uh, I think I would know. And so I'm just saying I think I would know. I've been in the business for a while. I think I would have some <coughs> idea of what people want for Christmas and what, what's an appropriate gift to give to people. Otherwise, I guess I wouldn't be in the business. People want the love of Christ for Christmas. They don't want scissors. I don't like Santa. I think he's too fat. And I don't like the fact that he always wears the same clothes. That's just Christmas time, though, I'm sure. Hello, thank you for calling. Call us now. Do you have a uh, comment about Christmas? Well, I don't, I don't think your phone works. Well, I think people are still, yeah. I think they're stunned. I think they, they think they're watching another rerun. And uh, yeah. I know we are, in fact, live tonight. Uh, so uh, please give us a call and uh, tell us about what you think about Christmas. I'd yeah. love to advise somebody who has a question, a gift question, you know. I'm yeah, to do that. Does, this is a free service. If on someone the show. doesn't know what to get to for you, Christmas, uh, time's running out. Yeah. What do you give a newborn baby? Blanket. What Blankets color? are beautiful. Hmm. Blue for boys, pink for girls, yellow if you're not sure. <laughs> well, I know that it's a boy. I would go with blue. I've blue seen is it. a keeper with boys. Boys, uh, they wear a lot of blue, especially as small, small little children. We do sell uh, Christian blankets at the God Through Gary gift shop. Do it blue and pink. Why mm -hmm. do you give a dog? A dog bone. You can give a dog a dog bone. What color? Uh, nail clippers. They're brown. I would get a brown one, depending on the color of the dog. What if I want to get Carolyn a gift? Oh, so, Carolyn. Now, Carolyn, I, I think somebody's really missing the mark, because I think that she, there's a lot of good gifts out there for Carolyn. Yeah. I, think, um, I think that stationery would be a nice gift. A lovely little box of stationery. I don't good. like stationery. Stationery is the only gift, though. Carolyn would probably like love a nice uh, a necklace with a pendant. No. A, a no. brooch, another little brooch, like to go with her little fish brooch. No, I don't even little like this brooch. one. I don't like a candle, this a candle with a, no. a, a, a candle holder, like some no. incense in a. No. I can uh, candy no. casserole dish. But let no. me try here, Cordless Glenda. Cordless telephone. No. Glenda, you're Can not doing real well yams. here. No. Um, Glenda, why don't you let God? <clears throat> All right. Okay. All right. This is what you need for Christmas. If you open the Bible to Malachi chapter two, verse three, behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread. <laughs> Spread what? Corrupt, <laughs> corrupt your what are you seed talking about? and spread dung among your faces. <laughs> oh, 
Merry Christmas to us all. Fertilizer. Am I right? Fertilizer. That's you, what you, you need. Like you know, that garden? is really amazing because I started a garden and it hasn't been doing well. Well, it's winter. So you think yeah. some dung would do it? That's right. That's what it said right there. No, now that well, is amazing because I would, not have, I would not have called that. That works because I could use a big pile of dung. Mm-hmm. And, and God knew that. I and would never why. have... Now, see, I would never have guessed about the dung thing. No. No, you would and maybe Great some one. seed too. It said something about seeds. Mm -hmm. so maybe some seeds. I've got some gardening. The seeds. And you know what? You can put a little bow. You can put like a little scoop, a little uh, what do they call little digger thing? A little shovel and a little spade. pot. And mm -hmm. You could wrap it all up with a little yarn bow or something. Mm -hmm. They call it a spade and a We've, trial. That's right. We have well, a gardening like department that. at the God through Gary gift shop, and you we have, have a gardening yeah, department. You bet. The yeah. mm -hmm. Sears have a gardening yeah. department. They do, don't they? Yeah. In the which level would that be? It's on the third floor of the outlet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Let's go back to our viewers, see if we got a caller on the line. Hi. Hi. I'm finding this program a little upsetting. I get yeah. the feeling that you're not really being uh, sufficiently respectful. I think that you're kind of spoofing yeah. uh, the Christmas season. No. no. Uh, not, not at all, I don't hmm. think. I, have I to take say, it very seriously. I do too, but I do have to say, Carolyn, that uh, I think Sears is, might be a little upset with some of the comments you've made. About the what if I say it? I talked about the basement and that we have a beautiful Christmas basement every year. Everyone knows that you don't put the garden shop on the third floor. Well, then maybe that's why we haven't done so well. Hmm. Yeah, that, that could be. Let's uh, see if we have another caller on the line here. Hi, who we have on the line? Hi, this is Dave in West Seattle. Hi, Dave. I got a Chris, uh, question about Christmas shopping. Yeah. I'm looking for something really special for my wife, and I understand that there's a real good boutique up in Mount Vernon by the name of Just Us Gals. Can yeah. you tell me anything about it? Yeah. That's, a, that's an it exceptional is. boutique. Have you been there? It's good. It's exceptional. Yeah. They have uh, very low prices, and they outfit women of all uh, all ages and all sizes, and it's a... Um, yeah. I think it's a, it's a great place to go if, you, if you're willing to take the drive. I think it's a lovely place to get there's your wife a gift. beautiful yeah, fashions. Uh, tell, uh, there's a woman named Vivian Sweetwater up there. Just tell them that Bill sent you and she'll uh, give you a discount. Yeah. My wife is, is tall, slender, beautiful, and a redhead. What would be good for her? So Vivian would choose it for her. Probably um, something, um, probably like, a, like a, a, a shirt or a dress or something like that. Well, thank you very much. I, right. I, I would like to share with yeah. the viewer that at the uh, uh, Gary Tracy gift shop that we do have a just for Gary section where gifts just, I mean, you don't have, you don't have to carry them out of the, the gift shop. You just pay for them and they come directly to me. Oh, so what kind of things do they have? Uh, they have money clips and, and money holders, uh, those things where you can throw your change in. It's, it's, it's like it's an act of God. You can pick up a handful of change and throw it into this thing, and like the nickels will go into the nickel and the, the pennies and the dimes. It's, 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 it's God at does work. Does it have your face on it? Oh, of course it does, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Hi, we've got another caller on the line. Hi. Hi. You got uh, some feelings or comments about well, Christmas? I, I have a question. I'd like to know what I could get for my dog. That's and I have another question. I'd like to know if my dog has a soul. Um, can I begin, kind of mm -hmm. first of all? Sure. <clears throat> Depending on if the dog has a soul or not. And I don't know, dogs are different and have different tastes, but I would, and I, is it a, are you there? Is, uh -huh. he, is it a large dog? Yeah. What kind of dog is it? It's a, a German Shepherd. And uh, what's, is it a male? Yes. And what's his name? Bob. Bob, and how old is Bob? Three years old. Three years, and he's in pretty good health? Yeah. I'd get him a dog bone or something. Collar, maybe a collar. What or about a sweater? A sweater, maybe a dog bone or something. Hmm. A sweater or something. As far as uh, dogs having souls, uh, do you have your Bible there? Uh, no. Okay, well, if, if you did and you picked up Psalms uh, chapter 2 again, uh, verse 3, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. So they do have souls, but those souls, after your dog, let's say your dog was run over by a truck, flattened out, just a mess yeah. on the road, but it had its collar. That soul, which in answer to your question, it does have, can't be released until you take that collar off. So just take the collar off and you'll see kind of a, a ripple <coughs> above it, like on a hot day above concrete. You'll see a little, and that's the, the dog's soul. So, like, so then will he be waiting there for him until his owner dies and comes up? Is that's it? right, yeah. He'll be waiting at the pearly gates. He's not allowed in? No. I had a pretty a, no poodle owner. named Ginger and she's dead, so I'm glad to hear that she isn't just a bunch of bones. 
Got another caller on the line. Hi, thanks for calling. Yeah, I was wondering if I could uh, eat one of those hot dogs that's in the fridge. That's all right. Jimmy, I told, now, Jim, I, that's my son, and he works for the school district, and he's living with me because he only works part-time. I told him he could have the hot dogs, but I told him to save some because I was going to, I didn't, I had to have something for lunch the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. That kind of brings up uh, Christmas dinner. <clears throat> Hot dogs. I always make a big ham, and this year I thought, why don't I just make individual hot dogs? You can cut up the hot dogs. You can mix them with uh, potatoes, and you can grill them in a pan and put them in a little dish. Put a little uh, ribbon around it, and it says, I, I, I love you. Or you can go to the God Through Gary gift shop deli, where we have many courses to choose from, and we'll serve you whatever you want on Christmas. Okay. Let's take one more. Quick, quick, quick. Call. Hi. Hey. Good to see you back, Bill. Hey, good to be back. Got yeah, it. And everybody else on the panel there, I just wanted to do a little bit of uh, Christmas history with, uh, with you guys. And uh, I remember my dad uh, leaving us milking cookies out, uh, waiting for Santa. We used to uh, get up Christmas morning, and they were all gone, half drank and cookie uh, half eaten. What do you guys think of that? God ate those.